Hey y'all, in this week's quick tip, I wanna show you some Google Easter eggs. And these are sort of hidden interactive tools that you can use from the Google search bar. And the first one I wanna show you is called the Google Spinner. Now I've had kind of mixed results in terms of using the word spinner, but if you put Google in front of it, it definitely comes up and you get this wheel, like Wheel of Fortune style spinner, and you can actually customize this. So if you see the drop down arrow down below, you can actually get tons of other tools where you can roll dice, you can flip coins, you can do all kinds of things. But I wanted to show you this because you can change the wheel size and you can have all the way up to 20 numbers. So you could use this in your classroom, you could assign numbers to groups, you could assign numbers to students, and this could be a random way to call on those students or groups. You can also flip this switch and turn it into a fidget spinner, which um, if you spin it, it looks just like what our kids are walking around with. But um, the spinner is awesome. Of course, you can see these other tools down here if you haven't played around with these. I have used many times also um, roll a die and you can roll the dice. Um, you can choose how many sides it has. You can add more than one. Um, you can also flip a coin. So if you're teaching probability, um, great to have a digital version instead of getting our hands on some dirty <laughs> coins that are getting passed around and lots of really cool little tools, again, built right here into Google search. Um, so you can flip through this, you can see some of the other things. Um, some of these are not actually listed and some are, but um, these are typically referred to as little Easter eggs that you can find um, kind of hidden away in Google. If you like this tip, click that thumbs up and subscribe so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. Bye y'all.